Rear wheel steering. Some are saying the next BRZ could have it. We'll dive into that. Also, Hyundai plans on unveiling 12 new SUV crossover pickup truck things in the next year. By the end of 2021, we're gonna try to figure out what that is. And Kia has a limousine in the form of a minivan, and it's genius. Smash the like button if you're excited for the next upcoming BRZ Toyota 86. And let's get into this rear wheel steering business. Over at CarBuzz, new Subaru BRZ could have rear wheel steering. Um, they are pulling this from this new teased image right here. Okay, obviously this is the front wheel. It's turning left. And okay, so this is probably our first image at the, the bottom side skirts that doesn't have camo on it. Pretty cool, we know it has the gill. All right, but based off of how this rear wheel looks like it's turning into the body, some people are claiming it has four wheel steering. I'm not buying it. This is a more of a budget sports car. Uh, I know the Honda Preludes of old and the 3000 GTs of old had rear wheel steering, but I mean, those days are long passes. And if you want rear wheel steering, just get a forklift. I mean, those are widely available and pretty badass. You can do a lot of things in that <laughs> you can in a BRZ, but more seriously, uh, the, the vehicle that comes off the top of my head, speaking of Japanese vehicles that has rear wheel steering, you can get it in the performance package, I believe in the LC 500. Uh, so that's like a $108,000 vehicle. They're not gonna have rear wheel steering in a BRZ N86. If they do, I'd love to be wrong. It'd be cool. Is it really gonna make it handle better? I don't know, you know? I, what do you guys think? Rear wheel steering on the BRZ, but I thought it was cool is that, um, you know, CarBuzz did come up with a full render based off the image, which was just this piece here just that piece, but they did come up with a full image of it that they think, and look at that, they will put the STI emblem down there. Which is gonna lead me into a little bit of STI. Um, if they do do STI, if they do, <laughs> I said do do, STI could still happen on a BRZ, not WRX, so they're not gonna add all wheel drive. But STI could happen. Um, that, my guess would be the turbocharged variant, 260, 270 horsepower, similar to the Subaru Ascent, Outback, uh, Legacy, has that FA24F, I believe, off the top of my head. Uh, turbocharged four-cylinder, 270-ish pound-feet of torque as well. That would be incredible. If it comes in a Toyota 8.6, it would probably be like a GRMN. Now, some people are saying that the Toyota 8.6 will just be, well, they're not going to call it the 8.6 anymore. It'll be the GR86. That's the base form, apparently. Well, we, you know, we don't know yet. We'll have to wait to see. But if they wanted to put the, an STI equivalent in a Toyota 86, GRMN86, I think is what it would be called. G Gazoo Racing Meisters, Masters of Nurburgring. The problem is, it's going to be expensive if they do that. Think pretty close to Supra 2.0 pricing, which is 40, 40 grand, right? 50 grand, 40 grand, I'll price check myself. It's it's early, I haven't had enough coffee yet. But I'll see you in the comments. Do you think the new BRZ86 will have rear wheel steering? I'm like 99% sure that it won't. Guys, make sure you're subscribed. I'm going to be live streaming the unveil uh, November 18th, 8 a.m. That is Wednesday the 18th, 8 a.m. We'll be live streaming the unveil. I have more live streams the day before, the night before, uh, with a couple vehicles as well. The QX55 is getting unveiled at the same time as the new Civic. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. there will be juggling uh, product coverages on the live stream. It'll be a lot of fun. All right, let's move forward. Hyundai plans formidable blitz of 12 new and significantly enhanced SUVs through 2021. So 12 new SUV products in less than 15 months includes new and sig significantly refined gasoline, hybrid, plug-in, battery electric, and in-performance models. Okay, and they say which models? Tucson, Santa Fe, Kona, Santa Cruz, a new electrified SUV, all plan, and those will be going through 2021. Okay, so obviously these draped vehicles are just copy and pasted because there's no difference between any of them. All right, it's just an SUV underneath a red curtain. New Tucson accounts for three of these. Gas, new gasoline, new hybrid, new plug-in hybrid. 
And then you could say the N version, okay? Let's say the Santa Fe. All right, Santa Fe is going to have a new plug-in hybrid as well as a new hybrid. So that's, you know, the top line already wiped out. So we have a new Kona in line and a Kona in. So that's a couple more. And then we have the fully electric vehicle. All right, that leaves us the Santa Cruz right here and that could have hybrid powertrains as well. So really only maybe two, two to three of these are unknown at this point. Um, so no point in really draping uh, these vehicles. But if you guys have a different idea on how they're going to bring out 12 new models and they already told us you know, pretty much what they're going to do based off the Tucson, Santa Fe, Kona, Santa Cruz, and a new dedicated battery SUV. But I'll see you guys in the comments on what other vehicles or variants of those vehicles that they said could be in there. We'll see, we'll see. But it's not really a secret. They're just trying to, you know, they're just finding ways to amp up and generate hype. But they've already communicated most of these vehicles. You know what I'm saying. Uh, continuing with Hyundai to expand, expand electrified eco focus lineup to 10 models in 2022. All right, well, you know, we already talked about you know, these two vehicles, the uh, Tucson as well as the Santa Fe plug in hybrid, and they're also normal hybrids as well. Now, what if they're, well, if they're going to update the Nexo? Well, that could be in, the, in that 12 SUV lineup. Technically, it's an SUV, right? I don't even know, it's a crossover sort of thing. Uh, but we have the new Ionic 5 and Ionic 6. Ionic 6, all the even number Ionic, ve Ionic vehicles will be sedans, all the odd numbers will be SUVs. This will be based off of the, I think the 45 concept is what it was. We'll be seeing that soon. I have all sorts of images I've probably already showed you. And this should be based off of that other uh, concept that we got. It just looks really good and I hope they Keep it similar to that for the production model. 2021 Kia Carnival limo is a high-end people mover with a massive TV. Over at Motor One, this thing is pretty awesome. If you're unaware of how this works, in Asian markets, VIPs like to travel in vans. Not limos, okay? Now this is, if it's a van, they're new vans, they're new Sedona, we just have, don't, haven't got it here yet. If you look at the Toyota minivans over there that sell for ridiculous amounts of money, this is trying to figure out Kia's role in that you know high-end luxury van market toting around very important people. Okay, so let's just look at the images. Let's not talk about you know the VIP culture in Asia too much that this van is you know segmented for. We'll never see it in America, but I think it's cool. So that's why we're talking about it. Flipping through the pics. I love that it has a topper. I, I think that's completely unnecessary, but I think they're putting every single option they can uh, on this vehicle. Of course, you have the rear sunshades, which once you get on the inside, they don't look that luxurious. Of course, you have, uh, you know, side stepper here to get in the vehicle. I don't know why they felt like it's necessary to show that. Large screens up in front for the drivers. Very nice looking. I can't wait for this uh, to get to the American market in the Sedona, not this ridiculous you know, high limousine is what it's called, uh, reclining chairs, and then very large windows with curtains. Now, I can't tell if these curtains are automatic or manual. If they're manual, VIPs want nothing to do with that, okay? Keep them, keep them automatic. But just based off this, it doesn't look, you know, with pull tabs and like a button here, to me it doesn't look like it's an automated curtain, but I could be wrong. But even the back ones have, have those curtains now, they say this is a 21 inch screen. It could be, I mean, it definitely is, but it doesn't look anywhere as massive as the screen as we've seen the Lexus LM300H or LM350. I mean, this is like a, a pleb, a peasant CEO van compared to the LM. That thing's next level. And I love the skylight. Now that's a unique landing strip <laughs> of a sunroof there. But uh, yeah, I guess you gotta have some sort of panoramic sunroof on a minivan. But what's interesting, right? It has a topper. So what is the topper just showing, shining light down through there? That gets me confused. This was cool. Air conditioning being blown out of the seat here onto the rear passengers. Uh, you have a few different USBs, one here on the side and maybe some USBs and an HDMI, maybe an HDMI here, USB-C here, it's hard to tell. Now it comes with level two driving systems and it is now being sold in Korea as the Kia Carnival High Limousine. No idea when we're gonna get the new uh, Sedona. 
but it is based off the carnival and I am excited for it. My, my parents have a Kia Sedona and it's been really good to them. I think it's a 20, 2012 model and it, they got a ton of miles and it can continues to run. And breaking news here over at Mag X. Now we don't get this vehicle in America, kind of a trend of today, but Yaris and Yaris cross defect Toyota motor. We are clarifying the factors diligently verifying. So apparently there's an issue in the brand new Yaris cross hybrids uh, that are in many, many markets already, just not here in America. I don't think we'll ever get it here in America unless it comes out as a Lexus LBX or something like that. Now I said it's hybrids, but it might not, might not necessarily be the hybrids because we apologize as Toyota here. We apologize for the concern and inconvenience caused to our customers. We have received comments from such customers, such as a warning light being lit due to the influence of the transmission input damper and driving restrictions. Based off the refinement of the hybrid systems, maybe it's not the hybrid because Toyota's got that figured out by now. And the transmission input damper sounds like maybe something that is on a CVT inside of the non-hybrid. But yeah, it's already having issues. That's crazy. Toyota quality control missed something in the new Corolla <laughs> Yaris Cross. But that's all the news, guys. News has been pretty quiet the past couple days, and that's okay. Uh, at least on the Asian car front, I could talk about, you know, Rivian. I think Ford has a new E Transit. I thought that was kind of cool. There's additional motorcycle news, but I really wasn't excited about any of them, to be honest. So if you made it this far in the video and haven't hit the like button, throw, throw a brother a bone here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully in the live streams as well. Hopefully you guys are able to check out of work, out of life in some form and join me on the live streams uh, 17th and 18th. Make sure to subscribe. I'll update you guys along the way and have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and your neighbors and peace out. Peace, peace.